Charles Wolfe, 1791 to 1823. The poem, The Burial of Sir John Moore. Not a drum was heard, not a funeral note, as his course to the rampart we hurried. Not a soldier discharged his farewell shot, o'er the grave where our hero we buried. We buried him darkly and died at night, the sods of our burying nets turning, by the struggling moonbeam's misty light, and the lantern dimly burning. No useless coffin enclosed his breath, his breast. Not in sheet or in shroud we wound him, but he lay like a warrior taking his rest, with his martial cloak around him. Few and short were the prayers we said, and we spoke not a word of sorrow, but we steadfastly gazed upon the face that was dead, and we barely thought on the morrow. We thought, as we hauled his narrow bed, and smoothed down his lonely pillow, the foe and stranger would tread o'er his head, and we far away on the billow. Lightly they'll talk of the spirit that's gone, and o'er his coal ashes upbraid him, but little he'll wreck if sleep we let him sleep on in the grave where Britain has laid him. But half our heavy task was done, when the truck when the clock struck the hour for retiring, and we heard the distant and random gun that the foe was suddenly firing. Slowly and sadly we laid him down, from the field his fame flourish and glory. We carved not a line, we raised not a stone, but we left him alone with his glory. To my John Moore, though not a warrior born to fight, the smile and the gentle word will disarm you in a thrice. He makes peace wherever he goes, offering a helping hand. My friend and brother, I am honored to know such an honest man. His first love is found in Christ, his second to his wife. Through the years I've seen it shown in his actions and his life. I often visit his home, which he built with skill and wit. I recall what it looked like before his vision renewed it. So with our Lord, his hand of divine sees the state we're in, and in his grace he sent his son for this new birth we are given. Thank you, John.